Hi, John here to bring you 10 new exciting Mac games released in September 2020. Number 10 is Wingspan. Making the jump from popular and award-winning board game to the digital realm comes Wingspan, an avian strategy game. Play is a collection of bird enthusiasts, researchers, bird watchers, ornithologists, and collectors seeking to discover and attract the best birds to your network of wildlife preserves. Up to five players compete to build up their nature preserves in a limited number of turns. Each beautiful bird that you add to your preserve makes you better at laying eggs, drawing cards, or gathering food. Many of the 170 unique birds have powers that echo real life. Your hawks will hunt, your pelicans will fish, and your geese will form a flock. The board game is known for its incredible artwork, and that remains true in the Steam version as well. Being digital means extra immersion as the birds are animated and also feature real-life sound recordings. This relaxing but competitive game features multiple ways to win and can be played single player or multiplayer. Wingspan is available on Steam and should run on most Macs back to 2012. Number 9 we have a Monsters Expedition. As the name implies, Monsters Expedition is a game where you are a monster on a journey. This low-key puzzle game is filled with adventure, exploring, and a charming open world. Push over trees to create pathways and access new islands as you learn about the history of the mythical humans from a monster's perspective. There are hundreds of islands to visit, with many exhibits, dig sites, and speculative notes to enjoy reading. Designed to be soothing rather than brain-busting, this one is filled with simple but deep mechanics. Monsters Expedition is available on Steam and Apple Arcade and should run on all Macs back to 2012. Number 8 is Path of Exile. The long-running action RPG is finally coming to Mac. Path of Exile has been kicking around since 2013 on PC, and with the latest updates is receiving a Mac release. Awesome. You know the drill on action RPGs. Pick a character, slay monsters, collect loot, and level up. Path of Exile differs in a few notable ways, starting with that the game is entirely free. This makes it immediately accessible and easy to try out for any gamer. Next are the game's unique skill and passive systems. Instead of traditionally tied abilities to a class, there are skill gems you can buy or trade to equip. Your ability to equip them depends on your stats and passives, which you can build as you like. This means all the classes have impressively different ways to play. Please note, Path of Exile for Mac is currently a beta version, with the official Steam release delayed another week or so. To download and play it now, you will have to download a standalone installer. Check out the link in the description. Path of Exile will be available on Steam and should run on MacBook Pros and iMacs released since 2012. Number 7, we have Cloud Gardens. The ultimate relaxation game, Cloud Gardens, is a super chill early access title where you must harness the power of nature, grow plants and foliage to overcome decayed urban areas and manufactured landscapes. By planting seeds in the right places, you can create dioramas of beauty. As you cover the scene in plants, a meter will fill up, and you are given more tools to complete the stage. A campaign mode tasks you with completing a certain number of crafted areas, while the sandbox mode is open-ended, allowing you to plant and create as you like. Moody and atmospheric audio tracks complete the experience. Cloud Gardens is available on Steam and should run on all Macs released since 2012. Number 6 is Stormworks Build and Rescue. A dramatic physics playground, Stormworks allows you to custom design and program vehicles, then bring them out into raging storms. The game challenges you to plan and execute thrilling rescue adventures across a variety of crisis scenarios. You may have to rescue workers from remote oil rigs, people trapped on islands during an incoming tsunami, passengers on sinking ships, and more. Two main game modes let you choose how to play, with the structured career or an open-ended custom creative option. You can play single player or invite others to participate in difficult co-op missions with multi-crew vehicles. You can also share and download assignments in the Steam Workshop. Stormworks Build and Rescue is available on Steam, and a recent MacBook Pro or iMac is recommended for the best experience. Number 5, we have the Dungeon of Nahulbak, the Amulet of Chaos. A wacky heroic fantasy RPG with an impossible name, this adventure is full of tactics, charm, humor, and crazy characters. Guide a team of unlikely heroes who are by turns inexperienced, clumsy, and feisty, but always entertaining and ready for chaos. Seven different characters from classic tropes such as the ranger, elf, and dwarf are available to play with and level up. The dungeon itself is full of surprises. 
housing traps, secrets, side quests, and over a hundred different enemies and epic bosses. Mastering the turn-based combat and party skills will be vital to success as you progress. Fun fact, the game is based on an audio comedy series from French author John Lang. The Dungeon of Nahulbach, The Amulet of Chaos is available on Steam, and a recent MacBook Pro or iMac is recommended for the best experience. Number 4 is Unrailed. Unrailed is a co-op multiplayer game where you have to work together with your friends to build a train track across endless procedurally generated worlds. Every track is unique, and you will have to master new challenges to stay ahead. Gather resources and build tracks to prevent your train from derailing. The catch is that tools are unique, so coordination and cooperation with others is key to success. Typically, you see this kind of teamwork-based gameplay in something like Black Wake or Guns of Icarus. Seeing it implemented in a railroad building co-op adventure is very cool. If you aren't sure if Unrailed is for you, a free demo is available to try out. Unrailed is available on Steam and should run on most Macs released since 2012. Number 3, we have Art of Rally. A challenging rally sim with captivating visuals, Art of Rally is an indie racing title set in the golden era of rally racing. Travel across 60 stages from Finland to Japan and Germany. Enjoy the stylish tracks from a top-down view as you compete for the best times and leaderboards and challenges. At your fingertips are over 50 iconic rally cars with precise handling. Beginner-friendly settings will help new racers ease into the experience, but pros can opt for expert modes that will push their skills. As a nice touch, an integrated photo and replay mode will let you admire the scenery or your sweet moves. Art of Rally is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store, and a recent MacBook Pro or iMac is recommended for the best experience. Number 2 is Desperados 3. A Wild West fan's dream come true, Desperados 3 is the perfect throwback to the gunslinging rough and tumble days of America. You'll follow John Cooper, outlaw, gunslinger, and a man looking for redemption. He's pretty handy with a knife, too. Each mission will introduce you to new friends and teammates as you sneak, stab, and shoot your way through each brilliantly designed level. Choose how to overcome each encounter with various solutions. Use the runaway bride to distract a few guards, while the doctor snipes a lookout and your giant trapper knocks a few heads. Or you could go in guns blazing, using Cooper's six shooters and throwing knife for some carnage. A satisfying stealth action game at heart, what propels this one to true greatness is the polished presentation, excellent voice acting, and compelling script. Desperados 3 is available on Steam, and a recent MacBook Pro or iMac is recommended for the best experience. Number 1, we have Hades. Hades is a brilliant fusion of previous games. With the fast-paced action of Bastion, the atmosphere of Transistor, and the story depth of Pyre, Supergiant Games have created a masterful dungeon crawler. As an immortal prince seeking to escape the underworld, you seek aid from Olympus, wielding their powers and weapons to aid your journey. Attempting to break free from the God of the Dead won't be easy, and each death will make you stronger and unravel more of the story. With every run unique and permanent upgrades available, Hades is a joy to play. The rich characters from mythology are well written and fully voiced as you get to interact with Zeus, Athena, Ares, and more. Provide gifts to your god of choice for even greater boons. Hades is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store and should run on most Macs released since 2012. Here are some bonus games for this month. Untitled Goose Game Finally in September, Untitled Goose Game released on Steam, after being an Epic Store exclusive for a year. Play as a goose out to cause chaos in a small unsuspecting town. Pendragon Enjoy this strategic narrative adventure about saving King Arthur with the Knights of the Round Table. Mythgard a modern fantasy mashup, this free-to-play card game enters the market to try and make a name for itself. Songs of Sticks This fantasy city builder has you starting as a small colony as you attempt to build a grand empire in a living world. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition is now out on Steam. The Complete Edition includes all the released expansions for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, along with enhancements for modern Mac hardware and widescreen support. What is your favorite new game this month on Mac? Let us know in the comments, or let us know if we missed a game that you really enjoyed and want to mention it or have us cover it in some other video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Mac Gaming. I'm John, and thanks for watching.